Hi, and welcome back here to PR Delaware. Tim Qualls filling in for Dave Skosik, and Dave Skosik's still with me because he can't interview himself. Well, we can make that happen, but we're not going to do it that way. I want to talk to you because it's very important cause. I mean, when, you, when you're talking about veterans, I mean, and you're talking about veterans from World War II on through. I mean, and a lot of veterans struggle with different things that come through in life. You guys have created something here in Delaware that I think is fantastic. It's the Veterans Foundation. I mean, tell me a little bit about it, Dave. Tim, that's a great introduction. You kind of said it all. The Delaware Veterans Trust Fund was signed into law three years ago in September, and it was the result of uh, we knew that veterans were falling between the cracks, a small vo uh, portion. I mean, the vast majority of veterans come back and they do well, they integrate well. But uh, sometimes because of an injury, some, whether physical or psychological, or even loss of a job due to multiple deployments, we have veterans who desperately call up and say, I need help. They are going to shut my electric off. I don't know what else to do. So the trust fund was created and in a special account under the Commission of Veteran Affairs where we sit uh, that no one can use it except the committee that determines whether a veteran is needy or not. Uh, shortly thereafter, an organization was formed called the Friends of Delaware Veterans in order to serve as the fundraising organization for, for this. So it's, uh, it's, it's privately funded. So our goal is to reach out and to create events and, uh, and solicit uh, contributions, which are 100% tax deductible. Yeah, I, I like what you said because, you know, when you talk about it, and that happens a lot in government, when you talk about all of a sudden you got more money's coming in and it gets thrown into the general fund exactly. and gets spent different ways. And, you know, this is earmarked directly for veterans to help veterans get back on their feet. And, and it might be somebody from World War II, you know. Yes. It, it doesn't have to be somebody who just recently became a veteran. All of a sudden you hit some hardships or something. I mean, I faced it, and then, you know, with, with my wife getting sick and the medical bills and all that, all of a sudden I got a strain on myself. I would have loved to have the Veterans the Delaware Veterans Trust Fund to turn to and say, guys, I need some help here. And that's what it's for. That's exactly what it's for, Tim. And uh, we have people come in or make application through the, uh, th you know, right to the commission or even through veterans organizations can actually uh, send people up here because they get tapped out as well. Uh, again, it's all a check. <clears throat> we ask the person who comes in, bring your DD-214, which is a document that proves you were a veteran and then uh, ask them to also bring a copy of their bank statement. We want to make sure no one is hiding money. Uh, at that point, the committee meets and makes a determination, uh, the criticality of the request, i.e., again, uh, vehicles being repossessed or, uh, or, or utilities being, being shut off, sometimes even food on the table. Once it's determined that everything is legit, uh, then they tell the veteran, give us your bills. We pay your bills. We, we don't, don't give you the money. We don't give you the money. <laughs> and it's uh, ideally uh, set up to be a one-time uh, hand up, not an ongoing uh, contribution. Uh, to, Just kind of help, help them get through the hard time and get themselves back, you know, because you know, that's what you want to do. You want to be sure that that individual gets back on their feet with a little bit of help from you guys, but you're not there to support them. And, that, and, that, exactly. and But when you talk about that, because, you know, I think it's a great situation because I look back to Vietnam era where we came through and the guys coming back from, you know, there wasn't that kind of support out there, you know, the community. It's so nice today to see, you know, veterans getting that respect that they deserve, you know, in that they serve this country. It's time for the country to serve them a little bit. And through things like this, that's what you're doing with this foundation or, or trust fund, I should say. But it, you mentioned a minute ago, it takes money to make this thing happen. The, the government is not writing you a check for it. No, and, and in fact, uh, our board is, is made up of volunteers. None of us are compensated. 100% of the proceeds of what the vets and uh, the, the Friends of Delaware Veteran raises goes right back to the uh, to the Veterans Trust Fund. So we work hard, we create, uh, we create events, uh, we, we get out in the community, we like to talk to business people, we talk to veterans organizations, and I can't think of anything that should be more focused, more at the top of the list for a veterans organization than to help fellow veterans by, by, you know, by contributing to, to the fund. 
So, uh, <clears throat> well, you got a lot of veterans out there, you know, <clears throat> like myself, that are in, in business and, and, and semi-successful or successful, whatever the case might be. Those are the folks you look for to help, you know, help your brother, you know, you know, you, you support this organization because it's going to go back to helping that guy that you served with you, and, and that, you know, and, and you know, when you serve, you serve. You know? <laughs> you oh know? yeah, you know, guy or, or uh, women, there are about fifteen percent of the force today are women. A lot of them who run into trouble, they have families, they have children. So uh, the the committee uh, looks at it very, very carefully. Not all of the uh, requests are approved, but the, but the money is uh, the money is very tightly controlled, and it's good for veterans to know that they do have a place to turn to when they you know when they get desperate. When the hardships are really hard, that's what that's what exactly it boils right. down to. <clears throat> and, you know, but let's let's talk about it a little bit because you talk about you know. The monies and giving monies, and I want you know if you're a veteran out there and you can give a little bit, you have a website folks can go to, and and uh, I guess Friends of the Veterans plus the Trust Fund. Is, you know, tell me a little bit about that. Well, if they go to uh, uh, DelawareVeteransTrustFund.com, our organization is the name, is the, is the website, uh, DelawareVeteransTrustFund.com, and uh, they will see uh, who we are, what our mission is, what we do, who's involved. Uh, and uh, in, in, you know, in some cases, uh, well, testimonials from people who've actually been helped by this. The biggest fundraiser that we have every year is the uh, is the dinner. It's a black tie optional dinner. Uh, it's a hundred dollars a plate, uh, or a thousand dollars a table, and then you become a sponsor. Uh, this year, it will be held at the beautiful Rollins Center at Dover Downs Hotel and Casino. Very nice. Very this nice. This will be our third year. We've raised a lot of money. We encourage people to come out. We encourage businesses to buy a table for a thousand dollars, and uh, and you know and become a sponsor. Or people can pay individually and come out, uh, you know, with a hundred dollars. Tax deductible. Remember that. It's uh, yeah, the part that doesn't include the food is tax deductible, but but any contributions are tax deductible. Uh, straight contributions uh, to the friends of Delaware veterans, uh, and we do try to point that out. And what's nice is you know as as I mentioned, a lot of organizations, worthy organizations, are asking. For help, and I have no, you know, make no judgment. But many of the solicitors that uh, that people hear from, if you ask them, and they got to tell you, they'll say, "Well, ten cents and a dollar goes back." Here, one hundred cents and a dollar for contributions goes right to Delaware veterans, kept in state here, and uh, and you know, and that taxi dockable thing has got to be attractive, particularly as we approach the end of the year. When when's the black tie coming it's up? Friday, November fourth, one week before Veterans Day. Friday, November fourth. You don't want to miss that. It's going to be at the Rollins Center, right? You know, great, great looking. Yeah, yeah, Dover Downs, beautiful place. Some great people. Good food. Good, good place. Oh, outstanding entertainment. food. Entertainment. Dancing. Uh, you know, it's it, it's just a good time. So go party, and you're giving back to a great cause. Absolutely, you are. And I just want to say thanks so very much for allowing me the opportunity. To promote this again, I'm, I'm sure we'll you can join there. PR Delaware anytime you like, Dave, and do that for us. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, Dave. We'll be back to wrap everything up. Thanks, Thanks buddy. so much, Tim. <laughs> Tim, it's been it's been great. It's been great uh, programming today. We've had uh, a hypnotherapist. We've had uh, someone who is involved, very involved, with ending veteran homelessness. And uh, you've just heard uh, from Tim and myself about the coming uh, fundraising dinner for the Delaware Veterans Trust Fund. We'll see you next time.